Hi everybody, this is Jamie with C4 Depot and I just made a new little creeping fig shader for your exterior models and I just want to show you quickly how to use it. Uh, when you open it up this is what you'll see and the uh, shader consists of a base layer of textures and some skins that are over that that's actually uh, geometry that um, the leaves go on to. Yeah, so this is your base geometry and you've got you know some viney things and some small detail and some medium detail and then when you um, turn on the larger detail basically what you're just doing is you're you're putting a, a little piece of geometry over your model which is this thing right here right there like that and applying the leaves to it and you can apply, you know, however many layers you want to, depending on how thick you want your ivy. But uh, just to show you how this works, um, I've made another model. I'm going to apply these shaders to. So I'm going to copy these and then go into my tunnel or my little archway, and I'm just going to paste these in here. And um, I've already made a selection tag for the part of this structure where I want to apply the shaders. So. I'm just going to take these and just like drop them right on there. Okay. And it's, I think it's best to have the vines on the bottom layer and then your medium and then your large detail, but you know, probably doesn't really make, make that much of a difference. But if you do a um, quick render, you'll see it looks kind of like okay. I mean, I think that um, you're going to have to adjust the. Uh, scaling of this and so let me just go into the medium detail for a second and I think what I want to do is I want to adjust this global scale on this bump map to something a little bit smaller like 30 and see if that looks a little bit more like fig leaves yeah see look at that okay so you're gonna have to you know maybe do a little bit of fiddling with it depending on the scale of your of your model so uh, you know, I've actually, that kind of looks okay. I mean, you know, it's, there's, there's nothing wrong with just doing that. It depends on, you know, what you're, what you're doing. However, um, I've also made this other, uh, piece of geometry. It's, um, this cube here. Okay. So let me turn this piece of geometry on. And what you want to do is just... I made a little, you know, I don't know, kind of a cube around this thing. And I think the easiest way to do this is just to take take your uh, selection tool and just draw a pattern of where you want your ivy to go. And, um, you know, it, you probably want a little bit more coverage than, like, not so much coverage. But, oops, don't touch the axis bands and you'll really mess things up. So... It really doesn't take a whole lot of time, but you know, you can do this to your heart's content. Okay. I mean, this is actually really the simplest way to do it. Um, you can have some stuff going up the sides if you want. Okay, so once you've done that, do a selection, select, invert, and let's just delete all that stuff. Okay, so now this is going to be your ivy, and I would recommend hypernerbing this. Okay, so let's go back to the um, creeping fig shader and copy these leaves. And we're going to paste them. We're just going to plop these things right on there. Yeah, they look a little big. Let's just, you know, reduce it here. Like, just make it about half as big. See what happens. All right. Now let's just do a quick render and see what we got. Okay, well, that's our first render pass. And it looks like the scaling's off and our displacement's off. So uh, let's go into the leaf shader. And I'm going to... Um, 
reduce the strength of this by about half as much. And um, I want to go back into this tag, the selection tag, and reduce this these leaves even further. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. I think the fig leaves are pretty much in scale with, uh, you know, the rest of the objects in the scene. And, um, you know, you can dial this into your heart's content. You can kind of, you know, adjust the outer shell so that it's a little bit tighter, uh, a little bit looser. Or you could just make another um, shell and you could like flip it or something and, you know, make it a little, give it a little slightly different scale and it'll add more complexity, it'll give you some more leaves and more detail. And, you know, there you go. It's uh, not really too much work uh, to just add ivy or creeping figs to a outdoor structure. And I, I hope you like the shader, it's totally free. Just go to c4depot.com, go to the free stuff section and it's right there. Uh, as of today, it's at the top of the page. So thanks a lot, this is Jamie with C4 Depot. Take care and see you later. Bye now.